spices added to Kemar Haikon's sauce. And Shaggy, well, he likes it. Me so clean, so saucy. Shaggy comes with Haikon to drop the video. But first, in continuing our look at where our music is 60 years after its birth, Shaggy has a lot to say about the way we do business in Jamaica. Shaggy as well as some of the opportunities we might have missed. Reggae Month tribute to the Crown Prince of Reggae, Dennis Brown, pulled thousands, thousands to Kingston's waterfront. This week's E! News reviews, including Jarrell's 2020 awards, Dance Soul Trending Countdown, and more, are all coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. A reggae month a tribute to Crown Prince Dennis Brown pulled uh, thousands to Kingston's waterfront. And the acts who delivered the tributes were as diverse as the gathering. Oh, it was amazing for me to be here and to perform for Dennis Brown tonight. It's like magic for me because three years ago I came here, I didn't know anybody and now I'm on stage here. I was in the audience last year. It's amazing, so I want to thank Jamaica, Reggae Month, everybody, because it's like magic for me. I feel privileged for Notes, and you really get to spend some quality time with him. And he really embraced me and showed me certain little things. And so I feel good to know that I can carry on his legacy in, in any way I can. It's clear that um, he's loved by everyone, not just Jamaicans, but um, just looking at the the persons with, um, attending tonight, you can see that persons are here from Europe, America, you name it. And um, it is just the love that they have for him and the work that he has put in and the legacy he has left. Oh, right now, Dennis Brown, I call him Uncle Dennis. You understand? Because I know his family, I know his children. I know him personally, like, yo, Wagwan. <laughs> and he introduced me to all of his friends. Yeah. This is a gang you, a gang you. So, that, that connection, you know, and to be here to support is only natural, you know, that we are here. It's an honor to know so well. I'm here representing the king, you know, Dennis Brown, you know. I'm yeah. one of the king as well, you know what I'm saying? So, more than word can explain, you understand me? Yeah, man, Dennis Brown, thing I believe on, you understand me? A reggae music I believe on, you understand me? Yeah, man, so I'm give thanks to say, you come here and I cover the show. So, June I read the one good for me. Just jet out and come down here. I'm sweat out. And the day I would love to see the face for all those evil to the human race. Just some of them, some of come pay my respect, you know what I mean? I have to give thanks to a great legend, great icon, you know what I mean? You know, he's the Prince of Frege, yeah. Lee Brown. So you know we have to give the support, you know what I mean? And you know, as I said, I had the opportunity, you know, to tour with him and you know what I said, yeah man, he's a great warrior, you know. It was a night of glitz, glamour music and a great turnout of patrons and award recipients. The 2020 staging of the Jamaica Reggae Industry Awards Jaria. <laughs> at the Little Theatre on Wednesday night was quite an evening of elegance and excellence. Among the big awards handed out, a special honor to living legend Bunny Whaler. Breakthrough Artist of the Year, which was previously given to Coffee, was this year bestowed upon reggae crooner Mortimer. For everybody who has supported us, we really appreciate it. Lady G received an Icon Award. I really do appreciate this. While dance lecturer Orville Hall received the brand new Gregory Isaacs Foundation Award. This this is for dancers. And IRFM's Elise Kelly was presented with a special award for her contribution to 
Media. Her award was presented by a fitting Mr. Winford Williams. We have proven to Jamaica and the world that reggae can be number one. Many people have been alluding to it over the years. But if Carleen the Dancehall Queen and the House of Dancehall team have their way, come July 5th, Jamaica will have its first official Dancehall Road March. Dancehall is Jamaica. It's owned by us. It's ours. Nobody can take that from us. Every, everything else belongs to somewhere else. Dancehall is ours. Dancehall and of course reggae. Away from our athletes, reggae and dancehall, bread, barn, grow here. So I mean, why not have our own? Launched at House of Dancehall on Thursday night, the concept will feature six sections with options for males as well. So it's not costume, it's outfit because I wore these to events. I wore these, every piece here is a piece that I've worn somewhere. Not the original because of course they're made by our local designers, Sophia Jones and Lauren V, which Lorraine, and also Pablo's and LP Azar. Fabric is from here, they're the sponsors of Fabric. So the whole road march is about our culture, our country. Everything is local except some of the girls. I think it's a great look and it's a great look for most of all people like we, because we represent the culture and dance all worldwide. So it's great for see we do it for, for own people them who can travel a certain places. So we who no longer dance all them can come out on that night or that day come show them respect and them love and see what go on about dance hall and what go on in a dance hall. Dance hall Queen Colleen, I'm not telling you like, you do it, a good look for the culture. Well, dance hall Queen Colleen, big up for this idea, I love it, I love it. A long time I want to rip for dance hall the real way. So you know, so when I hear about this, I have a come from my eyelash, that's truth. And Crystal, you're wearing Mommy's iconic outfit. What, what, what does this moment mean for you? Um, I'm actually very excited. Um, I can't wait for the road march itself. Like, just, you know, um, walk in my mother's footsteps and do what she did. Not the exact same way, but, you know, try and learn and, you know, like, just support her. You know, that's what I'm doing right now. Supporting dance. I listen to my blood. I can't run away from it. Not only my mom, but my dad. I can't you get me. It's full blood. More on the Dancehall Road March in the weeks to come. I am proud that it's a start to something great and I just hope Jamaicans here and abroad support, support what we're doing. And now, our top 10 Dancehall trending tracks. Coming in at number 10 on this, the very dynamic Guinness trending countdown. The Gaza Vice President Sika Rhymes is ready. Gaza we ready, ready, hold it steady. Mines man a beating at them jelly belly. At number 9, Javilani and Rumba with Ancient Government. If I know you're shen, then a wild side don't tell you we are lead them, I follow my style. Jack Popcorn is this week creating a scene on the countdown as his single block traffic makes it to number 8. They kill your room like a cellular phone. While Ding Dong is still standing his ground and holding firm with Watch Them at number 7. When you did look, you and everybody alright. Start make little money, no I be a fight. The number 6 track this week is a new entry from TJ called Blessing. But he's not the only new entry. Chronic Law is at the halfway mark with his good name. Me nah look good name. Me nah Riking King is on the up and up this week with a brand new entry at number four called King Nali. While holding down the number three position is the queen of the pack, who in her own words is always on trending. This is February 20, 2020. Wake up February 20, 2020 And I wonder me get so much hate and envy no And out of nowhere, the artist formerly known as Philip 2K makes his way to an impressive number two, Gold God, with his track called Client Convo. Okay, let me go and pull it up for you. It is showing their right, you a quarter past two. But there is no taking out the world boss. Vibes Cartel holds down the number one position with Tony Montana. You can't hold me up on the corner. You have to catch me in a house like Tony Montana. One thing do, me have a million piranha. And that's our Dancehall Trending Countdown for this week. Brought to you by, of course, Guinness Dancehall 
Cast Off. All right, stay with us right here on stage still to come. Shaggy on the business of music 60 years later. And Haikon premieres the remix with spice in it of his saucy. And Shaggy likes it. Wow. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. Spice is added to Kemar Haikon's sauce. Always and trending. And Shaggy, believe it or not. Likes it. It's all some sweet design that look clean. Shaggy comes with Haikon to drop the video and chat the state of music on this, the last day of Reggae Month celebrations in Jamaica. Right now, right here on our stage, then, Shaggy and Haikon. Youngster, come. Welcome, sir. Happy sir, Shaggy. Happy Reggae Month. <laughs> happy Reggae Month yeah, to you, sir. And, um, Celebrate it, sir. And congratulations on your contribution to the music. Well, thank you very much, sir. And likewise yours, you know, because you're doing a very important job, you know. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this is the only place you won't get fake news. <laughs> <laughs> get it real, you know. Well, that's good to know. We work very hard on <laughs> making sure, sir. Yeah, no fake news. All right, if you were to go back 40 years, if we ask you to walk back 40 of the 60 and look at the, the journey and what we have exploited and what we have not, is there anything you would have fixed? Well, first... Let me just say clearly that we are in a much better place than we were when I started. 30 years ago. Right, yes. Because when I started okay. with O Carolina, dancehall music was not a part of, of the popular format. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even spoken about. In the mainstream? In the mainstream. Okay. Um, it was very tough. You know, we weren't blessed with, we didn't have the luxuries of the internet. Mm. You know, to, to spread the word, you know what I mean, and create fans and, you know, followers and have, you know, um, reactive fan base. The fact that we can do that now is great. Also, the fact that now dance or music is a part of popular culture. Yes. To where it has spawned such genres as reggaeton, mm -hmm. Afrobeat, arguably so, because most of the Afrobeat man, they must say, Everything comes from Africa. But you know what I mean? <laughs> we say, we're, push back. <laughs> yeah, but we're, which, which in, in fairness, everything comes from Africa, but yes. we made it popular. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, spawned such things like reggaeton and even hip hop. Mm -hmm. The crazy part of it is all three genres, which is reggaeton, Afrobeat, and hip hop, are streaming higher numbers than dancehall. Mm -hmm. and reggae put together. And they're all derivatives, you're saying. Exactly. And it's the lowest numbers in all those formats. Yes. And which, to me, um, pretty much puts us in a crisis mode, I would think. So what would you fix if you were to go back? What would you... Did we do anything that we could have done better, that weren't done every properly? Listen, every genre makes, makes, makes mistakes along the time. I think one of the biggest problems to me, we're not short of any talent. Yes. You know, we have some dynamic people that come out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Sean Paul, myself, Bojo Bantan. Um, we have these moments that were Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. Big moments in that yes. hall where, where the world had to stop and look and say, wow. So to have that star appeal or that natural talent that actually grab people, we're not lacking in that. You know what I mean? You look at Jamaica. Is a, a island of roughly around three million. Nigeria is uh, 150 million. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can Unfold, tell. You, I yes. can. Yeah, I can name probably ten times more famous people out of Jamaica who have dominated popular culture. So, and that's not taking any way of it. But just to show you how dynamic. On the this creative level. side, yes. There's no. There's no walking. Just back. all around. I mean, we did you, what you, we had to do. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> so that is successful. As a magical place, as a place that has, you know, Jamaicans are naturally overachievers. Yes. That Business now. This is where I think we fall short. Yes. This is where, you know, when you look at manager, you, you might have a youth uh, I come up with you, and you and him hit the road together. You gain some success, you bust a tune, 
That man they were part with you know, he might need a title. Uh, I can't, you can't call you to your name on the road or your errand boy. You can't mm -hmm. carry your bag no more. You might go on. You might want a title. Yes. The title you might want to take is a thing on your manager. Because mm -hmm. the title you get your girl and the title you get your, you know. Oh, there too. Yeah. You're, 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 you're the manager. You're the, oh, yeah, that's you travel, you tour, whatever, yeah? My advice to anybody that is rolling right, with a Kemar icon or any other new artist, when you see that artist start move, educate yourself. And it's a different time now than before. Before, we'd have to read a book with him, everything you want to know about the music business or mm -hmm. everything you want to know about music business. We'd really have to go, this is, go study. This business, the business of, the business the business of, of mu music. Yeah. Yes. Nowadays, you can just go up on YouTube. Google is your friend. Yes. And learn and educate yourself about publishing, mm -hmm. about neighboring rights, you know what I mean? About um, anything. In, in touring, you know what I'm saying? Sampling. Sampling. Of them all of them. To yeah. About. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, all of these things. Mm -hmm. You can just educate yourself about, about it. By, while back in the days, you, it was harder for you oh, to yes. do that. Me lucky. Me did catch a shot and everything. And when me there at 10 million and I go around the world and I sing with Michael Jackson and them people, and me, I said, wow, I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. And I thought I did. Yes. But then the other day I went with Sting and that was an eye opener. Mm -hmm. Because there's another level of it that I just didn't know exist. You know what I'm saying? You look at, I have a conversation with my brothers and them from Box Street Boys and we toured with them in 2000. Mm -hmm. And I went to go see them the other day and them get rid of the dancer, them are five of them on stage. They have some screens. I hear a band but I couldn't see the band. It, everything recorded in the box. When I'm at the show, in the show, I didn't miss anything. It was dynamic as, it was even better than when we toured with them. Mm. And the man looked at me and said, yeah, boy, I make more money than we did then. So you said to yourself, how is that possible that they're making more money now than when they were hot? It's simple. It says our fans could pay for tickets. Okay. So when a kid appears for a $60 ticket for go on concert, no idea is, VIP tickets for something like the Box Street Boys about 2,000 US. So they're carrying their fan is, base with them and it's like, growing too? J-Lo is like a three grand. Mm. Yes. As you go along, you realize that the older people as they go, like you, you might want to go, go up on a flex. Most of these people make it a weekend. Mm. You know? Yes. Them and them girlfriends are, them, them are a couples or whatever. And them go dinner, Clubbing, Backstreet Boy. Dinner, clubbing, sting. Like, whatever it is. That's why Vegas do so well. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? It's a different time. But there's another level of it. And part of it is making songs that are classic songs. Timeless songs. Mm -hmm. How can we just make, we are make songs we are just, for your time, or are you going to make timeless songs? I was very blessed. And one of the things I thank God to this day that I made songs that are sim still somehow very relevant mm -hmm. to this day, and I could still tour on it. Do they call you dancehall artist, Shaggy? Do they I am, recognize you as that? I am conveniently dancehall. <laughs> conveniently. Yes. <laughs> so it, when 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 <laughs> when a when man say, yes. "Yo, dancehall, I sell number," they say, "We are top on it. Look at Shaggy." Yes. You know what I mean? When him say, when he say Shaggy, yo, Shaggy does win a, gra a Grammy, and a yo, I'm a dancehall. <laughs> 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 so I'm conveniently, and I'm working, I'm, I'm good with it's that. It's the same happening for Sean. Too. Yeah, uh, Sean is the same thing, though. Yeah, yeah. he's conveniently dancing. Because you're there talking about dancing. <laughs> right? People don't normally call your name, you know. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean, when it comes to that. Yeah. yeah you know, it's interesting. Junior Gong. Yeah. Who's dancing. Yeah. Authentic. But Gong will get more dancing. Even, even though, even though about if we have some get more dance hall, more than you. Yeah, <laughs> even, even over that. Yeah, but. Now hold it, hold it right there, Shaggy. When we come back, we're going to find out from Kamar Haikon what he's learning from Shaggy. How would them know about this? And how much of that he's putting into what he's doing now in music. Okay, and later on, we'll hear the remix and actually premiere the video for the remix. Saucy. Spices in it. So my beat so saucy. Call me king in the streets, come saucy. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed. On stage with Winford Williams. Download our app.
and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. And we are back, having a Where Are We Now, 60 years later in our music, and we are also premiering the Saucy remix. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you teach this young man? Um, Kemar Haikon, who is, who is signed to your label, what do you teach him? What we does say, he know? Because we're going to ask him some questions. When we're just about teaching this kid. Just, you have to understand it goes both ways. Yeah. He might teach you too. There are things I'm Theme learning generation. from Yeah. Okay. There's things I'm learning from him at the same time. Mm. The thing I admire, I, and, I, and I can be honest, I've, and I've said it before, when, you know, there's a, when, when Icon came into the picture, mm. he came in as Chris Martin's friend. We, we at the time, I was at Big Yard and Chris and Kingy, they used to come up to New York to my studio and did all of their promo and thing, you know what I mean? Um, then time we were right tune. So when he come here with him and, him and Chris, I just thought he was just him friend. Him and him are roll around and... They meet food and go party together and promo together. But then he had an agenda. He wanted his own career and the whole thing. And when I voiced him for the first time, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't fully sold. Mm -hmm. But what sold me about him was his determination, his drive, and his incredible work ethic. And then when you see a man like him, you know, he, he was in a good paying job. If you don't want him job, there would benefit. <laughs> <laughs> in, okay. a, in America. Yes. And the man just let out the job, sell him, care of him. And just go to Jamaica and have a plan. And never, and just went on a matter and said, failure is not an option. And I sat there and watched it happen to where he developed at this point. So when he come around to a point where me for just help him, I had no choice. Mm. I said, yo, how can I not assist this guy? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He said, Shaggy, we need this. All right, mom, you need it. All right, it, that's it. I can't tell you that I did anything for him other than just supported him when he needed it. Okay. It was all his orchestration. Okay, sir. So get in and tell us about what you've learned. I mean, first you have to just know exactly where you want to go. Yes. And you have to have a plan. I had a mental plan. And that's what I did. I executed. You understand me? Being around somebody that cross every musical bond you can possibly think of, you, your plan should be easy. Mm -hmm. How important to you is the business of music? It's very important. Understanding how it works and so forth. It's very important. That's how you earn. Yes. And if you don't know the business, how, how you going to earn? That's, the, that's, that's, that's a major part of it. I wouldn't tell anybody that I'm the most talented person either. Mm -hmm. But nobody now going to outwork me. So how much credit would you give to music, your knowledge of the, of the inner workings of the business? How much credit would you give to that for the success here now and job? Oh, it's about 65 65 percent yeah is because you understood how things work exactly and when you were making these records and when you started to work yeah and it comes with a lot of self-discipline also so like respecting time yes time builds a lot of relationships in music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the initial stage at that too Do 95 percent of jamaican artists are always late mm -hmm. so you know that means they might win by default <laughs> yeah. yeah because I've, I've done the same thing yes. where at, where you win by default me I go win knowing say the next man just now I go show up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. We can't just go up and say, so I'm not doing anything over there now. Yeah, but just I do what is required, knowing that the man, the competition, is not going to even do anything up. So you're already in. <laughs> and, and people are very impressed with that when yes, they see a Jamaican who they can work with. All right, with, so for example. Come up in the like where you put it in, you see a Jamaican. <laughs> because this, this is a problem across the board. Yeah. It just shows up bigger because we are a smaller um, we should, entity. We yeah. should want so we more. Should, so we should be doing it 10 times more. Yes. Because it's not a level playing field. Absolutely. Right, and you must learn to work a room. No, people. Like, which is what he's good. I've seen him go into a room and. In work room, you're coming out of place, yes. and he's, he's speaking to everybody like they're one on one. You know what I mean? You're coming, you, 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 I think they're first year. Like, mm. I try to <laughs> debris, and I try to let me get a first year. But anyway, let me get a first year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like, uh, it's naturally, that way, it's naturally so, working. Room. She left up, the, uh, she, I remember saying, you know, so she'll give me that first year. Like, Am I you that? Yeah, so mm. like, he does that. He goes in and works. Networking, is, networking is important. It's important. And, if, in and is indeed effective. Exactly. So, so Kemar, the, the, um, Kemar and the artist, you, the, the artist, your stage persona, 
your brand yeah. that you were selling to the public. Yeah. Do you make a big difference between the two? No. I don't no. need to make a then difference. Then right now it's you nothing, are... It's nothing rehearsed. Who are you now? I'm Kemar Haikan. And always. You always. Got the stage. I'm never out of brand. The sauce box. You don't come out of brand. <laughs> no. How do you come out of brand? Say it. It's like you stop selling. How do you stop selling? Yes. You're selling a brand. It's, it's something that people want to be a part of. So you, you're the brand. Yeah. And the brand you. Yep. Always. Always. You can't. How can I close my store while everybody else's store is open? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why would I do that? So, okay. Don't you push back you see on that, those who say, well, you see that analogy, you're a commercial artist. The analogy with him yeah. is a good analogy because you, you have two stores. Mm -hmm. I want a store now. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, you walk in a store, store of all AC and people have <laughs> a smile. Mm. See? That store they dear at you know. But you have another store beside the bargain <laughs> store that but in there not so nice. And okay. the people have a bad attitude. <laughs> See? But it's a little cheaper. Yeah. Yes. You know, say you go to one a little dearer just because yeah. the people have a smile and you see it. So so you want now the store paint. <laughs> you see the shelf them look how we see. Yeah. And and the people who work at the store a smile and a greet you. See, you have to be a little bit more, do you know? <laughs> but you want the experience. Because you know, that's how we see them. We want the best. See? Once we get that analogy within yourself and know that way you sell every day, mm -hmm. it's a brand. You sell, you will always be a brand. You're branding yourself. But, but is, is it then important that artists are who they, they're selling? If I'm on a, a spit gun, and explicit sexual exploits and... and and missions. Yeah. It's always about girls and love girl and bungle and bang uh -huh. and things like that. And women go murder if they even touch him. <laughs> and stuff. He's that person? Not necessarily. Not necessarily because we're being creative. Mm. You understand me? And being creative, sometimes people use different terms to bring So sometimes stuff to you life. come out of character. Well, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that because movies mm. kind of sell that type of um, image and, and, and display that type of stuff. You understand me? And nobody knock movies. Mm -hmm. So it's the same for the artists. You get what I'm saying? We're just using words. So what makes it different? You get what I'm saying? It's art. Then you have some people who try to so then sell then that lifestyle. To use your analogy, you know, it, he's responsible for his utterance. Yeah, but maybe and that's his brand. And maybe that's his brand. And he's what he's selling. And maybe he's trying to be that. And, and that's him. Yeah. So he must own it. Yeah, he must own it. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not contesting you. I'm just trying to make the clarification. Yeah, but in the same, in the same form, I'm just... That, where him just sell it while. Yeah. That movies do so. So you come in and you play a character. Mm. Right? What he's saying that you can separate the art from, from the, the person. From the brand. From yeah. The, from, from, from it. You know what I mean? Because, all right. Me is a man now where I love a lover, bombastic, romantic, <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> rare, rare. yet still... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm Little Mermaid. <laughs> I'm Sebastian. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what I said? So you can separate okay. All right. the brand from, from the art. So, you know, in, in my year, I'm going to sing some gold, uh, gold lyrics and rare live art, but they're not, I do that kind of, and create that kind of art, which is entertaining to you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm not going to live that life there. No, you might look on him and say, oh, but the boy, they're fake. But if you're that kind of person who's going to live that life, and rare, rare, then... You have made that choice. Choice, yes. Yeah. Other people know who just it's just it's like market. the art. Is it's it not. marketable though? Speaking of gun lyrics, is it marketable? People There's a market buy for everything. Records that There's are a market for everything. spitting violence in big numbers, Shaggy. There's a, the there's street, a market for, for example. Yeah, there's a market for everything. Look at hip hop is one of the biggest streaming numbers out there. Mm -hmm. And most lot, of what they see is, 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 is very heavily sexual. Um, Content. Content and, 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 and violence. Violence, yeah, it's just part of it. But them, hip hop isn't doing anything new. Them used to say dance, I was. About the music of, Yeah, guns and violence. Them used to say that about rock and roll too, mm -hmm. back in the other days. Yes. So every music go through that. Pop point, point I'm trying to make is that those, those contents sell, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is why every genre has gone through it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So at the moment, you see, if you were to look at Jamaica's music and to speak to the space and all of the new artists and the established ones as well. How would you speak to them about the way forward and how, especially young ones who are just coming up, 
I would love, I'd love them to understand that um, there's two types of life. There's, you can look at the kids um, on Instagram and they got the jewelry and the chain and the ray and the rah, 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 live this kind of life and be, be that. But that's temporary. Learn the business of music and realize how you can set up yourself for the long haul. Mm -hmm. The long haul is basically trying to make your brand last, you know what I mean, for 10 and 20 years down the line to where you could make songs and still live off those songs 30, 40 years, 50 years down the line. Look at the greats who have done it before you. Go on the internet, figure out what is done, and get a game plan. I think okay. that is it. Because it's easy. It's easy. If you're at right now, everybody will book you. Mm -hmm. I guarantee there's going to be somebody else that's going to be at. And guess what they're going to do? Book them. them. <laughs> what's going to happen to you? You're going to sit down and wish you have a book in. But if you own something, okay. then, then you're not, you don't have to worry about it. I, I always say wealth is not... Having things, wealth is it's having choice. choices. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? When you have the choice, you can turn down something. Yes. Because you don't Pick need it. Pick and choose, yes. Pick and choose what you want, then you can more flourish your career and guide your career. Mm -hmm. Because you know, take every little thing will come to you. And part of that is keeping your expense low. Having things where you don't need. Sometimes it's things where you want. You have 30 car, but you can drive one at a time. Mm -hmm. We are doing 30 car. <laughs> Yes. You have four, five hours, but you can live in a one. Then they end up on tour, I work all kind of money for try to pay for the five hours. Then, where you want to live in a? With the girlfriend, the sweetheart, maybe the girlfriend, man behind your back where you <laughs> work feet. See, the, the girl now drive your car, they must swim in your pool, I eat half your food, and you just appear feet. You come in for three days and sit down night and gone again. Stop. You said something very profound earlier about timeless records, mm -hmm. which to my mind is like putting away something for rainy day. When it, while you're hot. Mm -hmm. you, you, the record may not be the, the hottest record in the moment, mm -hmm. but it has timelessness about it. That if you can make it hit, even moderately, mm -hmm. it will be more, it will, it will outlast generations, it will outlast fads and trends and be there when- You just said it, trends. Yeah. To make it outlast trends, you have to do timeless records that it doesn't follow trends. Second of all, the only way that record is going to benefit you unless you have the publishing sorted out. Now, when we were breaking records in the early days, we used a lot of sample. Sample ate up a lot of our, our um, yeah, publi publishing. publishing. But we had to at the time because dancehall wasn't known. To get on mainstream radio, we had to do what we have to do to get on it. You know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, I sold you Mongo Samota records, so I was still good. Mm -hmm. But... Set up your publishing to a self, understand it, right? Because that is your pension down the line. You're you can't borrow all the all pension. You know, so me no man who borrow from tune. <laughs> so Michael Jackson have Billy G. Mm. And he won't go to the bank. And I'm go check the bank and say, yo, you know what? I need, I need to borrow a million dollars. And he said, I need a collateral. I said, I'm going to give you Billy G as the collateral. Him now give pretty Proceeds pretty from the record, yeah. Say, so just for the publishing alone, that's my collateral. And him lend him the money. Because it's Michael Jackson. No, it's not just because... It's just, it's just, it's a hit man, a hit no, maker. No, but about the hit maker. That song they make already. Okay. Remember, I said them not, them not, lend, oh, them not made, borrow the money number. from okay, him, you know. Okay, they not borrow money from the one song there. So Billy Jean... And it will continue to... Billy yeah. Jean make a certain amount of years. So you go look from Billy oh, Jean yeah. and okay. Okay. say, of course. continuously, just on catalog sales alone, it mm. make this amount of money. And you say, right, you have never lend you a million yeah. dollars upon it, and the money after that, I'm going to pay you back for that loan. Yeah. Yes. Now imagine you have 6 or 12 or 13 or 20 or 50 of them there. But isn't it also performance, especially now? But there are the, different... The fact that you have a good catalogue of songs that yes. can still last 20, yes. 30 years later. Yeah. But this is the greatest that... thing why music is the greatest <laughs> job in the world. Yes. And we should treat it as such. There are many, many avenues of income. Mm-hmm. You have, you have solid record seals, your standard seal, record seals. You have the performance, which is the, which is the touring. Um, your touring, right? You have the publishing, right? You have the streaming. You have syncs. Mm -hmm. You have a commercial come in and them say, yo, I'm going to use it. And you get a, you get a run off of your publishing pan, pan, on syncs. Oh, whether it be movies, whether it be okay. commercials, whether it be whatever it is. Oh, in Jamaica, 
double it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, double it up. We're well, thinking the next gone. level here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's still gone. But it's still going. 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 But then you're going to sit down and value your time too. Yeah. It's like you decide, say, you're going to put a whole part time in a sub where you're going to make you this money, or you're going to put your, 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 your in a level. For me, you're going to sit down and go do double plate. Mm. The time I sit down for do that, I could utilize my time doing something else that make three, four times that. The double plate money? Yeah. Okay. So why would you? Yeah, some say so. I'm gonna say, well, I shall gonna do it. Sometimes I do them just with a friend, them, but it's not something that I'm going to look at and say, yo, I, I really doubt for me because you look for another thing. It is cash now in the minute. Yeah, but, yeah. but it is cash coming to you now. My thing is, so my artist is in a reggae right now. More and them dream because me see the dream. Yes. Me see the dream when me never think, when me think me that dream it never even a dream it bigger than that. Me talk people are go at, at one short is a million and two million. Just left them yard. Yes. I tell them to see that with my own eye. I know them people. Eh? And it happens. And these people aren't people who are current people. They don't, they don't dip on the charts right now. I talk to lot people. Yes. Where they left them yard and at least two million, three million in them. them they're not they're already transferred to their And that's account. just the show. Yes. That's just the performance. That's what I was talking about. I'm not about. talking about the rest of the stuff. Timeless records. That's what they've yes. made. They have timelessness in their catalog. Some of them is not even timeless records. Sometimes mm. them records don't even hit, but they have a timeless brand. Yes, the, the artist is a brand. Timeless. Because you have, some, was done you, you, you have some artists where you don't really have them. Them, them not real big. Take for instance a JLo. She has some hit record. Mm. But she not have those hit records like a Beyonce, a GZ, a Ray, Ray, Ray. But she's one of the highest paid because her brand. JLo. Her brand. Is, is timeless. Yes. She works on it. You're not, you not outdo her in the gym. <laughs> she have the look, she have the thing. She keep up with these young with the brand, so it, make, it carries the music also. Hard work, discipline. Streaming numbers. In Jamaica, that is a big thing. Good to, he to, 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 to hear. And is to there streaming numbers in Jamaica? Talking I, never about, know, I never know there was streaming numbers. People are talking about streaming, the biggest streaming artist in Jamaica. And which, so which, 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 <laughs> which part of Jamaica you stream? Because I would like to know. Well, I don't know that there's a platform in Jamaica, but Jamaica so are using the mainstream, about, the mainstream, mainstream platforms, right? The people, most the... Jamaicans get, consume their music from YouTube. Yes. That is their main source of consuming music these days, out of Jamaica. Out of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when people, the biggest streaming, when, we, when we're reporting streams in Jamaica, how much streams for so-and-so? Well, we just look it up. What is it? Three point, what is it? 3.7 billion streams is 1 million yeah. record. So it's the equivalent the, of, of, one, of 1 million, million records. Sold. Three, billion. Yes. 3.1 or 3.7, 3.7 billion. billion. And roughly how much cash is that for an artist? I, do the math means that, you know. Yes. I, yeah, we, I, we have to have a million record. Yes. And it depends all on, on, on the deal on what. Like, for instance, if you sell hard copy, hard copy, it depends on how much, um, what is your... And by a record, record, we're talking about a single or a... Say, or say, a, say you sell a million hard copy record. Mm -hmm. Album it, or single? Al album or single. Sing, yeah. say, say single. Single. Sing, it right. depends on the royalty rate, because each person's royalty rate is different. You know? It mm -hmm. depends on how you negotiate. So it means I'm going to know where you sign me in a bidding war. Mm -hmm. So another company I try to sign me, and you try to sign me. I mean, me can probably negotiate for a higher... Um, record royalty rate because of who you are, because, because brand I, again, because so I, brand, not just again. brand is one and, and two, I'm in demand, yeah. So you're bidding, yeah, that's brand, it, yes. yeah, you see what I said. So that is it, so it all depends on, on, on that, too. But if you ask me the kind of money that is being made from these artists, you, 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 that's what you have to deal with them. Palm. I don't think for the numbers, if you look at you just said three point something billion mm -hmm. is one million, one million. Mm. No reggae artist not there, so. Yes. The highest, I think it's like what? 14, 15 million monthly streamers yes. is the highest dance hall reg reggae. Um, um, the, the numbers streamers. are running 15. I think 15 or 6, but if I haven't checked in a yeah. while. Right? And the three top ones is Sean, Bob, and myself. Mm. 
So you move monthly no, streamers. No money. <laughs> monthly streamers. So you move no? Bob, you, Sean, have Compared no to... What's to some other man. Yeah, because if, 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 you say, if the IS is about 14 million, right? Mm. Streamers. Think about that. Yes. 14 million. And forget a, forget a, a million is billions. Billion. Yeah, yeah. Three <laughs> million. Billions to get a million. Right? Yeah, my brother. It, you, you know. Yeah. We're not really a... You see me? So where, Ted brings me the question. Where is the money in the music? The money is, the money is short. Streaming is it too. Streaming but is it, but to, it's just a small component. At, for, our, for our genre, again, remember, yeah. I go back to you. When we see 3.7 billion for make a million, there are other genres that are doing that easily. Oh, yeah. It's a walk in the park. Regga reggaeton does that e easily. Um, Afrobeat? Afrobeat. Afrobeat do that easily. Um, you know what I'm saying? Why we as reggae is the lowest yes. streaming numbers of all the genres, but yet still we birth them generally. That's what we need to fix. That's our challenge. That's, That's our fix. Challenge. That's yes. what we need to do now to for get the next 60 years. Yes, to get our streaming numbers up. <laughs> to, get to, to learn how to sell music. Right. No, there are other... Basically, that's what it is. It here. will still be a lucrative business because there's still Ways to make avenues money. to make money. Of making money. Okay. Your concert makes money. Your publishing will make money. You know what I mean? Merch. Um, them your merch will We run money. things. See? Things that run we. Your brand makes will make money. Your brand, your brand <laughs> maker, Which is why I will urge every artist not to pigeonhole himself. Yeah. Me as a man know me. He yeah, me DJ. He me have to sing. Me have to sing. If you see me a tap dance from Bardway, you don't be surprised. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you see me a do... Um, me, me will go to Lick a Mermaid. Me will go to wherever. It's, if you see me hosting, use your talent. Do everything. This is a t uh, passport. Mm -hmm. Right, get people get into every everything that you can. If you don't, if if you're lacking in something, fix it. Research up on it. Get a coach. That's that's where the discipline comes in. Yeah, now, yeah. get a discipline. coach. Get it's somebody. Work. Figure it out. Yeah. All you're saying, you know, some total of what you're saying. Work, work, work. Hard work, discipline. Yeah. Good old discipline. But there's hard work and there's smart work. It's two things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't confuse hard work and smart work. You can't work hard, but you also got to work smart. All right. We're going to take a break right here, Shaggy. And when we mm -hmm. come back, we're going to premiere the, the remix. So Saucy remix featuring Spice and Shaggy. Absolutely. Yeah. That's next right here on our stage. Yeah. Top class stepping with me fat hat. When the female boss free up the world boss. Money no damn class with them the spice. spice, spice. Me always and trending. Online worldwide, the internationally acclaimed, on stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. And we're back talking with Mr. Bombastic Shaggy. And uh, Kemar Haikon, and it's time we give you the brand new remix video right here on our stage. But first, Kemar, talk about the, the record. The, how big did it get? Um, saucy. It got big. Still have a far way to go. Mm -hmm. um, the world is big. It can't cover everywhere. But I feel like I hit some places that I never imagined to hit. Okay. So Japan, China. Germany, different, different places out in the world. Mm -hmm. And it still have a far way to go. Um, the remix is basically a, a way to get it further out. Mm -hmm. And that's I mean, two big names on the remix. I'm, I'm fortunate to have two big names on the remix that I'm pr pretty positive it would do well. And, and it's so successful that you wanted to do a remix? Yeah, definitely. And, and it's your idea or you were pushed, yeah, it was my idea. pushed to or motivated to? It was my idea. people want a piece of it. No, it was, it? My, it was your my idea. idea. Yeah. Okay, so Spice. Spice, big name. Why did you put spice in this sauce? How, how can you have sauce and not have spice in it? No, I have spice have you. <laughs> you have to have spice in it. In my opinion, you can never have too much spice. Oh, ah. Look at that. Oh, what an endorsement for spicy. <laughs> no, I mean, you can never have too much dance spice. Of dancehall. You're, you're, you're talking that. one of the most colorful characters yes. in dancehall. She represents dancehall yeah. very well. Do you realize that spice is the highest social media of any dancehall artist right now? Yeah. And one of the most colorful artists and character yes. in dancehall, and one of the hardest working. That oh yeah! Don't, don't even put in the come, work ethics. Come on, come on, yeah. And and if that is what makes people big yeah. and powerful, 
then she, she will have no competition yes. because I don't think anyone is willing to and, put in and as much aside from work. that, too, work it again that her skill, her skill set. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, just her creative, um, her creativeness and how... She know the business. Yeah, how, yes. she, how she create her art and how she go... And right. she, she believe in marketing. Yeah. It, marketing is, is key. She blows she my believe. mind of some of the things of how she... she believe in marketing. Me there on Spice all the time. I said, I'm Mr. Borel. Um, a three day pass now, I ain't post nothing. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Not good. Yeah. Right through. <laughs> <laughs> That's so yeah, keen cheese on, on this. Yeah. Very, very smart businesswoman. Very, very smart person. Know exactly what she, what she wants. Targets it. And never leaves our fans. Okay, so can we just go to the video now then? Yeah. All right. Top class, stepping with me fat, fat, fat. When the female boss, free up the world boss Money no damn class, with them the spice, spice, spice. Me always and trending Well, you know <laughs> It's saucy <laughs> It's spi spicy, saucy <laughs> Saucy Saucy, spicy And shaggy Saucy, spicy and shaggy <laughs> Wow <laughs> So, so, so Come on, tell us about what's going, going forward now And, and album is Going forward, I just um, yes. did my EP launch um, about yes. two weeks ago, which was a big success. Um, I got a lot of support from major players in dancehall, mm -hmm. you know, yes, too much names to mention. Yes. And that's, I mean, um, it was really a success. It was something that I, I anticipated, something that I really wanted to do. And I think I got the chance to do it and I delivered. Mm -hmm. And now the EP is going to go out. How many tracks, by the way? Um, six tracks. Six? Yeah. So you can get nominated for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you won't be, you know, you won't be, be in any rush to do an album yet? No. I, f I feel like you have to pace yourself and know where you are. Um, the demand was there for an EP, so I did that EP. When I get the demand for an album, I'll do an album. Okay. I'm not rushing myself. So what's your itinerary looking like now, this year? Um, well, I have shows, like, in Jamaica. I have a few over abroad, um, overseas. Also, um, I'm also now promoting my new single, which is Sharp, called Sharp, which is doing very well. You know, it's picking up, so I'm pretty sure by the summer it should be everywhere, you know, where it's supposed to be, hoping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, and Sir Bombastic, your year, mm. this year going forward, what, 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 what are you going to do? Well, I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, the UK. I'm doing a tour with myself. Nelly, Eve, mm -hmm. Salt and Pepper, Maya, oh. uh, Blue Country. We're gonna go to. We started in. We starting in um, Dublin, Ireland, and going throughout the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an arena tour, and then I'm gonna break at that point. Come back in, and we're going to get ready to release um, some more music. And um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and um, go on another tour, which would be our, we're going to do our, um, our I'm not trying to give, give us certain things, which is all right. <laughs> we're going on, our, we're going on um, a European tour after that, mm -hmm. which should be taking us down to our own September. So. Oh. And then um, after that, in the fall no way probably some spot dates here and there so far okay well anyway my friend well some things line up though we oh, just yes. can't, we just can't tell about it no we're always it, it, proud it, of you know but you, you know what means i'm on always come back and get the exclusive all right thank you sir all right we're always I'm very proud of you because you were glory is our glory no matter what the maguat <laughs> when you know when we win you know when we win I'm a poor boy like that <laughs> you know give thanks man give thanks yes give sir thanks. so we feel good when you when you when you perform and when you achieve sir that's a good point in which to say thanks for joining on behalf of all of us Winford Williams inviting you to come back next week for more on stage alright thanks for watching our video you know what to do click subscribe and be on our stage always.